Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is a haul video. I have been shopping. I have been um, Black Friday shopping, normal shopping, full price shopping, sales shopping, shopping, you name it. And this is probably going to be like a three part video which I'm gonna merge into one because I'm still waiting on a few more items that um, are just so slow, but I'm guessing that's because of all the sale, um, the sale shopping that everyone's doing. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So firstly is Topshop. I did a Black Friday shopping. I think there was 35% off everything on Topshop. I have to be honest, I'm actually not a Topshop girl. I don't really ever go into Topshop anymore. I used to back in the day, but nowadays, I don't know. I think I'm, Topshop doesn't like pull to me. However, I thought I'd go on. I saw a few items. I saw a few blazers because I'm just obsessed with blazers. It's the easiest thing for me to wear. I throw on a t-shirt or a vest underneath, put a blazer on and I'm good to go. So I bought a few things, which I'm gonna show you. I'm literally gonna pull them out of the bag. Some of the things that I'm wearing, sorry, some of the things that I've bought, um, I've obviously taken off, I've just shoved them all back in for the purpose of this video. Um, so yeah, the first thing is this top that I bought. This is from Topshop. It's a really cute top. Um, oh God, I don't even know the price of anything. I don't know the price of anything. I'll try and link them below if I can find the link. But yeah, I bought this really cute top. I love anything pink and I thought, why not? Um, so yeah, this, top's from Pro this top is from Topshop. God, try and say that. This top is from Topshop. Um, next thing, I'm just gonna pull them out the bag. I've got to put them all in the plastic as well. So then, first or second item that I bought was this blazer. I know everybody's kind of seen this blazer already. Let me turn here. Um, it comes with the matching pants. It's got this kind of sparkly detail here. It's a plain white blazer. I have lots of white blazers. But I just thought this would be really nice for Christmas season. This was £89. Um, but on sale, I'm not sure what it went down to. But again, I'll link it down below. Um, I didn't get the pants in this. I just, I don't know, sizes with pants and trousers don't really suit me unless I'm in the shop. And obviously I did all this online. Um, so I got the blazer and I thought I could dress it up or dress it down during this festive time. And yeah, I got this in a size 10, so plain white blazer. I'm just gonna pull these. Okay, so things might be a bit creased as well. Oh God, this is so creased. I should have given it a steam. Next up is this blazer here. It looks a bit of a granddad blazer. Um, it looks a bit of a kind of old man blazer, but it is in this beautiful, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, periwinkle blue like gray blue color um i saw someone on instagram wearing it i fell in love with it it's an oversized boyfriend fit um i've worn it already i don't know i wore it to an event in birmingham and yeah it is what it is it's double breasted how much was this have i worn it already I'm taking the label off because i worn it but yeah again got this in a size 10 I would say for like oversized boyfriend fit blazers, get it in your size, don't go up. Sometimes I do go up in blazers because I like the oversized, um, I like the oversized kind of fit and look. So I got that one. Oh God, there's so many blazers in here, guys. You guys are gonna kill me. Next up. Oh. Next up, I got this camel blazer. Again, double breasted. These look huge on camera. Um, oh God, how do I make this look nice? I don't think I can. Um, yeah, oversized. It's a great piece to throw on. I'm looking for the perfect camel blazer. Um, I don't think this is the one. 
and I'm not sure whether I'm going to be keeping this only because I don't know I don't know it comes with a belt which I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of uh, blazers that comes with belts so I don't know why I actually got this comes with a belt and yeah that's that well, that blazer was £49 the camel one next up I got this green blazer now this is one of my favorite colors in clothes i love wearing this color it's like on camera it's coming up pretty no i think it's coming up yeah it's like a jade green blazer um again is it double breasted again yep yeah, double breasted uh comes with a belt it's a nice belt it's got like a buckle towards it i'm not sure if the fit i went a size up which i shouldn't have so i might exchange it or return it for a size down this was 59 pounds yeah nice green blazer with like a white t-shirt oh that's my phone with like a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt i think i love this color oh then i got i got these maybe i should actually show you the ones i bought so I don't know whether anyone else does this, but I always order two sizes in like any form of leather pants because you just don't know what the fit's gonna be like. Um, if you saw my post when I went to London recently on my Instagram, you'll see that I wore these. So they're like pleather pants. However, at the bottom, they are kind of like a bootleg. Now, on the model, they look so nice, and honestly, these have become my favorite pants ever. Like, ever, ever. Um, they just make your legs look so nice. It's a really, really soft leather. It is like a jeggingy, like stretchy leather. I did go a size up. Um, how much were these? These were 25 pounds, and honestly, like, I just love them. I love the cut of them. I love, um, I just love the way that they feel they're so comfortable and yeah the leg is amazing i've been looking for a bootleg um wider leg trouser and jean i need to get some jeans now because they're all coming back but honestly these look amazing with any of them blazers i'm thinking of teaming this up with the white blazer and then just like a t-shirt or shirt underneath from neil i've got coming up so go get yourself these trousers and that's pretty much everything i got from topshop i don't know about the blazers i'm definitely keeping the white one i'm definitely keeping them trousers and this top but i'm just not sure whether i'm going to keep all the blazers or not to be honest they don't really fit me as well as i like um but yeah right next up is I have so much shit. Next up is let's open the big box. Is something that I got from this company, Popski London. Oh my god, it's bigger than me. I've actually not opened it yet. I opened like the big packet that it came in, but I thought I'd open the actual box on camera. So I saw my friend Laylee, um, Laylee Mirza wear this coat on Instagram. And I searched high and low, I asked her where it's from, and I got I got the coat. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't super expensive either. Comes with a little card. It was £285. Have I told you even what it is? It's a coat. So yeah, it was £285 and I got a discount and then in the end I got it for £232, which is actually quite a bargain. Oh my god. Not that I need another coat. However, I saw Laylee wear it and I was like, I need that coat. So it is this white, got the first one everywhere, coat. And it's got these gold buttons. It's so soft. So it comes in real fox fur and faux fur. I got it in the faux fur. I got it in the faux fur, let me put it on. 
and see whether I like it. She was super nice, but I think it makes me look huge. I don't know, yeah. I'll put a picture of the woman wearing it up on the screen. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna keep this, you know? I don't think I need it. Either that or I've not got the wrong, I've not got the right size, I don't know. Um, I'm just waffling right now. Yeah, so I got this coat. It's from Popsky London. It's 200 and something pounds. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it. I need to wear it a few times. Um, yeah. I was well and truly influenced by Laylee Mercer. <laughs> so next, what should I do? I went beauty shopping. I went makeup shopping in... Selfridges, in Boring, in Birmingham, in Manchester, basically everywhere. Um, this is from Morphe London. No, Morphe Manchester, not Morphe London. Um, they've opened a new store in the Arndale Centre, so I thought, oh my God, you can see what that's there. Um, they've opened a new shop in the Arndale Centre, so I popped in, as you do, and walked out with so much stuff. Um, there was a 10%, was it 10%? 25% off on Black Friday, which I think is amazing. Um, I got, yeah, everything here cost me 50 pounds, which I think is amazing. Let me show you what I got. Not that I need any of this. I got the Morphe 8C Cool Pro Rouge palette, which is like a blush palette saw this and I was like, I actually need a blush palette. I use the same blusher over and over again. Let me quickly show you. These colours are stunning. So they look like that. And honestly, the perfect shades of pink. I love the fact that they've got like a darker red there and like corally colours. Some of them are shimmers, but yeah. I love that. That's the HC Cool Pro palette. I think they had a warm palette, but I don't know why I did get that. Next, I got the Morphe. Is it Morphe or Morph? Morphe 3502 Second Nature palette. Let's see. Oh, it's not. It's not focusing. Morphe. Honestly, I fell in love. Like, I love my browns. I love a smoky eye. I, I just, I mean, please. Again, this is the 3502 palette. It's called Second Nature. And I just love the oranges. I love the browns. If I go away, I mean, I've got loads of palettes already, but... This would be the perfect palette to take away with me. <gasps> Maybe I should do a look. That being said, people do looks, but my looks are all the same, so I'm not sure what look I would do. Okay, let's put these down. Next up, I bought some lashes, because why not? They are the cheapest lashes ever in Morphe. I think they're like four pound or five pound, and I love them so much, so I bought three. Oh, I didn't even realize I bought three. I bought these in Melrose Avenue. These are in Melrose Avenue. I got these in Malibu. These which are Malibu. And I got Hollywood Hills, which Remind me of the Samantha Lashes by Huda Beauty. And I love them. They've got that wisp in them. Last but not least, I bought a lipstick. It was a cream lipstick in Forevs. It's called Forevs. Oh, I like the packaging. Looks like this. Focus. Focus. It is this gorgeous? 
gorgeous nudey pink colour. I love it so much. And it kind of like matches my top as well. I should have worn this. But yeah, love that. I need to remember all the makeup that I've got because honestly, things just get stashed away and then I forget about it. Oh my god, yeah, I should show you my new IKEA my new ikea wardrobe that i bought for my makeup next i went to kios who had 20 percent off as well on black friday i bought my face wash which i didn't even need a new one but i thought 25 percent oh 20 percent off why not i get the calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash and then i bought the rare earth deep pore cleansing mask cannot wait to use this one my husband actually has this and he doesn't let me use his so and I have bought my favorite um, turmeric and cranberry seed mask which I talk about in every video go and check it out it's my favorite mask ever and they were so kind they threw in like loads of samples of things which I'm gonna try out as well and yeah, I got them from Selfridges. Next, I've got this box here, which came all the way from America because I ordered stuff from the KKW line with her makeup artist Mario. I ordered these three things. I was gonna order more, but honestly, like I had a rant the other day about the Huda Beauty stuff, not to order online because I got bombed with a massive custom tax when it came to my door. And I knew when I was ordering um, the KKW stuff that the same would happen, but it's not available in the UK. So I thought I'd rather prefer to buy her stuff and get charged than Huda Beauty stuff where I can just go out in the shops and buy it, if that makes sense. So what did I get? I got the lipstick set, the Mario lipstick set I got. I love that packaging of them. I don't know whether if you guys have seen them it looks like that the packaging this one is called he's a mixer because apparently he mixes his lipsticks for the perfect shade this is what the packaging looks like clear like battery died um but i'm going to quickly run through the other things that i've got um so then everything that i'm going to show you now was done i was done in two separate shops so one i purchased from selfridges and the other one i purchased from the huda beauty um pop-up shop in covent garden so firstly i'll talk about everything i bought at 
Selfridges. This was bought on Black Friday. Um, they had 10% off everything in Selfridges, so I thought, why not? I was in Selfridges and you guys know by my makeup collection that I am the biggest Huda Beauty fan. Um, she is probably like my favorite brand, the most worn brand that I wear. Um, I just love the formulas of her products. I love her lip products, I love her foundation, I love her highlights, like there's not a product of hers that I don't own or that I don't have, or well, one of the ranges. Um, so I thought I would stock up. The woman at Selfridges was so nice. I think she was just shattered by the end of it. I went quite late on Black Friday. She gave me this free Huda Beauty box to put all my products in, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, I don't know, I could use this. Maybe like, I don't know. I need to find a way or I need to find where I can use this. But she gave me this really cute box. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what she did at the end. Um, so I just popped up on some of my favourite stuff and some of the stuff that I don't have. I bought this. I bought this um, lip tin. I, I bought this lip tin. It's got one lip contour and one towel bullet. It's the throwback lip set. What colour is it? Girls Trip. So it's in the colour Girls Trip and you get the liner with it as well. The liner is Partner in Crime. But yeah, I just love them. Let me show you what Girls Trip looks like. I'll swatch it. Oh, I just love a fresh lipstick. Look at that. Can you see this? Look, I'm just trying to focus. Focus. There you go. Just look at how amazing. That's in Girls Trip. By the end of like next year, I want to own every single one of her lip products. They are amazing. So I got the lip tin and I love the tins as well. Um, what else did I get? I'm just going to pull them out. I got the lip bullet in anniversary. I use this all the time. It's nearly finished. I got the lip bullet. What it? I got the lip bullet in wedding day as well. I got a new easy bake because my powder is running out. I got the, right, okay, so I went in to get foundation, I went in to get the normal, like, so I use, I use the shade um, Book Lava, Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter, then I went and accidentally bought the Dolce de Leche, now I don't know whether this is lighter or darker, I need to check her website, but if it is lighter then I'm definitely returning it, if it's a shade darker I don't mind. But Buclava is my colour. Um, and I came home and I realised I bought the wrong one and I was like, for God's sake. Um, so yeah, let me know, comment below if you think that I can still pass off with the Dolce de Leche. I can't even say it properly. But yeah, let me know. I got the Demi Matte in Feminist. I don't know why, I've already got it. I got the Overachiever Concealer in Sugar Biscuit, which... I use anyway yeah and that's it that's all the stuff I bought with my beautiful 10% off um, it still came up to 207 pounds but I guess it's better than paying full price and better than paying customs however I've heard a lot of you guys bought a lot and didn't pay that much customs I'm not sure comment below on the whole custom situation because last time I got like dumped with like a 50 pound customs bill or even more than that anyway then I was paying and then the woman was like just wait one second the woman behind the tail in Selfridges she goes away and she comes back and like she gives me three free products because I know on one of the days in November they did a uh, I think it was the Monday before Black Friday they did buy a Huda Beauty product and get one product free However, this woman, she was so sweet. I don't even know who she is. I'm not even gonna name her because she might get in trouble, but thank you so much. She was based in the exchange um, Selfridges downstairs and she gave me a free Farrah Lashes, which I don't like, but I mean, it gave me free, so thank you. And she gave me Muse and Muse Lip Matte and Lip Pencil, which I use Muse all the time, so. Thank you, I'm 
with them but she was so sweet and she um i don't know she just sometimes you get them girls and stuff just makeup counters that are really really like bitchy but she was really really sweet and she gave me three free products so thank you then as if i didn't have enough products already i booked an appointment and went to huda beauty's pop-up because i thought i was going to be in london on the same weekend um and she has a new pop-up so i thought why not go and check it out and obviously i went in i don't know what that's in there obviously i went in and i couldn't leave without buying something my husband genuinely was like you've gone mental <laughs> he was like stop um so yeah let me show you what i got so i got this lip tin and i thought i'd get it because it was like a limited edition it's just for the pop-up it's with the union jack and also i don't have these colors it was like a red a red color which is in the cup you know what it's all in arabic it's all in arabic but anyway you get a mini liquid lipstick a mini lip gloss and a lip pencil as well and yeah i just thought the tin was really really cute and why not so i got that then i got the set of liquid matte minis this is the um oh natural nudes collection you get girlfriend trendsetter sugar mama and bikini babe in here and i i literally love the nude colors let me show you guys this i love the nude colors i get so much wear out of them and topped with like a darker liner um i love them they last all day i got a pair of jacqueline lashes i think got a pair of jacqueline lashes i got the um lifeliner eyeliner and i got her lash glue because she always bangs on about her lash glue so i was like let me check it out i also got the nude palette basically i have like three of her big palettes like that she's done already um i can't remember but then i walk past this and every time i see it i'm like wow every time i see it and i'm like i can't believe i don't have this in my collection it genuinely is the most beautiful palette like hands down i have ever ever seen i mean look at that how can you not love that it is so stunning i kind of don't want to touch it it's just so stunning like the pinks the glitters like i love it i actually love it like the colors the glitters everything like oh my god i i didn't even touch that and look at that can you see i didn't even touch it but Wow, I don't want to move it. Oh my god. The pigmentation is crazy. Oh my god, I'm in love. Why did I not get this sooner? But anyway, yeah, the nude palette. I I just think it's the most prettiest palette to ever look at. And I do love these cards that she gives to put on top the protectors what else did i get from here got a face sculpt and shade brush it's like a concealer and foundation brush of hers and then in the back they gave these really cute stickers um yeah they're really just cute stickers that they gave so if you spend over 200 pounds at the pop-up you get um like a mercury retrograde like see-through rucksack it's like a tiny little backpack and in that you get like the winter highlight palette which i already have and i never use um or if you spend over i think it was 180 pounds or 150 pounds you get um like a makeup bag and a lip strobe so i was actually um valid for the backpack and the highlight palette however i didn't want it because I'm never going to use that little rucksack. I'm not a very backpacky person, and the winter palette I already have and I don't use. So I asked the woman, "Look, can I get the like the cheaper free thing 
And she was like, really? I don't think anyone's ever asked her that. And I was like, yeah, I'm just not gonna, there's nothing I'm gonna do with that backpack and the palette I already have, so. So she gave it me. And also I'll get more use out of this anyway. Look how cute it is. So it's like this, oh. So it's called the Enchanted Set. And they did some really, really cute sets at the pop-up that you can't normally get. Um, but I didn't need them, not that I need anything else. But yeah, they gave this cute little makeup bag, which I think I will get more use out of than the backpack that they're giving. It was like in this material as well. But yeah, so I got this and then in here, you get this for free, you get this lip strobe and this is in a uh, volumizing gleam. Is, that, is it in that color? No, it's an enchanting, sorry. It's in the color enchanting, which is like a white um strobe color so yeah i thought i'd get more use out of this it is for kind of if you spend over 100 pound or 120 i can't remember but i'll get more use out of it so always ask them if you don't necessarily want that free item They're like can i have the other one please and they'll give it so i thought that was really really cute and a really really cute touch as well was that everything that i got God, it better be. Yeah, so that was everything that I got in my kind of Black Friday slash full price slash discount uh, products. Majority of the stuff I did in store and online, like the Morphe stuff, the Selfridges stuff, I did um, in store and then everything else, I kind of, like the coat and top shop, I did online. I have so many new orders coming as well i have some shoes i have some beauty devices i have a few other things that are on the way um i kind of have ordered so much that i've forgotten what i'm waiting for does anyone else do that so that was everything that i bought on black friday um i got a few sale items and they were discounted, not that much discounted to be honest. Um, and obviously the pop-up stuff that I bought in Hoddy Beauty's pop-up was full priced. The KKW stuff was full priced. Um, what else was full priced? I can't remember what I've shown you now. Um, but other than that, in Selfridges, there was like 10% off, 25% off a few brands. So I bought some stuff there. And yeah, I'm still waiting on a few more things, but I shall record them another day and show you now.